Hi everyone, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, we're going to look at making this beautiful graduation card together. One of the things that I'm focusing on for graduation is the word congrats as opposed to things like your traditional um, images that you would expect, a cap and gown and mortarboard and um, diploma and things like that. What I'm finding is that having congrats in your collection for crafting and stamping is much more versatile and you're going to be able to use the congrats or congratulation word for things like new baby and new job and promotion and new house and all of those kinds of things. So a lot more versatility with something like that. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of a tassel and then some color tying into maybe what the school color is to give it that feel of a traditional school graduation. So let's take a look at this project and the supplies used for it tonight. So what we have is we have our Whisper White cardstock and it is cut um, 11 inches by 4 and a quarter inches. We're going to go ahead and we'll fold that in half. Grab our bone folder and if you start in the middle and press out what that does is it keeps your paper from shifting like it does sometimes when you start on one end. So start in the middle and go in either direction. And then what we have is we have a piece of silver foil paper that is cut four inches by five and a quarter inches. And we can go ahead and we can just adhere that on right away. And let's just, we're going to put a lot of layers on, so let's just be a little generous with that adhesive. So we'll layer that on. And then I have a piece of our Knight of Navy cardstock. And this is cut down to 3 and 3 quarters by 5 inches. And all the dimensions will be on my blog, RemarkablyCreated.com. We can go ahead and we can lay that down as well. And I like to add a little bit of metallics when I'm doing um, graduations. I like to tie in the silver, gold, or the copper. And this one opens from the side, just a little bit of a different opening. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm still trying to get over the cold that I had. So now for our congratulations, what I did, using the word congrats from our Sunshine Wishes Thinlets, I went ahead and cut a negative out. This can be saved and used on a future project, but what I'm going to be working with is this right here. I have our Wink of Stella, and this actually is gold. Dug on it. Okay, well, we're going to just work with it because it is gold. We'll make it work and you'll get the idea and then we'll show you the correct ones on the website but we'll make it work so when you first get it you're going to take it out of the wrapper like I just did sorry I was distracted by the fact that it's not the color that I wanted and um, you're going to take that ring off and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to tighten the lid down now some of you may have seen this during um, Winter Storm Stella I did a Facebook live video with lots and lots of ideas for using Wink of Stella when you first get it, it says push on the side. You won't see it here. It's kind of tone on tone and raised a little bit. And normally you would squeeze just to prime the barrel. What we're going to do is in one of Stampin' Up! spritzers, we're going to do more than prime. We're going to just go right on past priming, and we're just going to squeeze a whole bunch of drops down inside. <coughs> I did showcase adding water or alcohol to this, and what I found for the effect that I'm going for is just straight on... Um, Wink of Stella works best as opposed to watering it down at all. Once you're done spritzing with this and you're done using up everything that's in your barrel, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rinse this with water, fill it up with water and spritz it really good just to make sure that the, the chamber isn't clogged or anything like that. Stampin' Up! Spritzer is very, very powerful. And so what you want to do is you kind of either want to make sure that you have um, a nice space to work in or a box that you can set this down inside in. And um, let me just go ahead and give it a little pump or two here just to get it going. There we go. And I'm just going to hold it at an angle. And I'm just going to catch it in different places. Every one of these is always going to look different. And it's going to take a little time to dry. Let me show you this one up on the screen, up a little close for you. This is the silver one right here for you. Okay, so then in keeping with the fact that this one was gold, we do have, and it actually is not silver, this is what would be called our dazzling diamonds, it would actually be our clear one. What I have is I have some of our tassels from our artisan embellishment kit, and um, they are gold, which would be perfect if I was going to work with this one. I can leave these gold just like that. I do have gold foil, so I could go ahead and make that all matchy-matchy with 
the gold Wink Costello, the gold brass um, metal on the tassel and gold foil. But because of the project that I started actually has silver foil, I want to alter this here. And one of the easiest ways to do that is with your metallic Sharpies. I found these at Staples. They were sold in a pack that had two silver, two gold, and one bronze. And I'm simply going to use my Sharpie to color right over that metal. And it works great. Now another option that you have, let's set that aside for just a second and bring in my spritzer again, is I can use my spritzer to alter these tassels. I can go right ahead again and I can just spray some color onto them. And we can fold this over and kind of put that on. And again, you're going to want to let it dry, but once you do, it's going to have that little shimmer and glimmer to it that is known for the Wink of Stella. So it's a fun way to alter the tassels. And you can see then as you start to layer the card, of course now you've got your gold metallic and you've got your gold tassel and then we'll have our gold foil. So we'll do a finished gold project for you. Now another option that you have is you can also just go ahead and take that um, Sharpie marker that you were just using to color the whole tassel and you can just color your fibers as well too. So you can just go ahead and quickly and easily alter that. I like to flip it over and get the back side, at least when I'm doing the Sharpie. I've found that the spritzer really penetrates down through so it's not as much of an issue. And then for this project here, let's bring this back in. Before we adhered this down, what I wanted to do was I just want to kind of get a feel and I do want to shorten these just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and hold them in my hand and just kind of give them a little bit of a haircut. And then using our Knight of Navy Thick Baker's Twine, I'm going to go ahead and there's a little line that comes up from the S, so you can see that. That's what I'm going to slip this behind and over, is that little line right there. And I'm just going to tie this down tight. Gives something for the tassel to dangle off, dangle off of. Say that three times. And we'll cut that. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I spritz this. But you would add all of your adhesive on here. And then you're going to layer that on your card. And that quick and easy, you have a great card. And again, this is um, gold. And I would add gold foil, and I will in the picture on the website. So if you come visit me at remarkablycreated.com, you can shop easily for all of these supplies. The dimensions for the card will be listed, as well as you'll see the gold variation side-by-side side with the silver one. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I look forward to sharing more card ideas with you. Take care, and God bless.